Hi there. Uh, today we have some short procedure installment of the new. What is this? Throttle cable. Throttle cable. We are, we are finally addressing something that I, I'm ignoring and hoping <laughs> nobody saw. Uh, what? I have no idea. Whose what? idea was? Whoa! Is this a what? Uh, yes. Like a bottle? Uh, cap, cap. Yes. Oh my god, and what is the purpose of this? I have no idea, <laughs> but it's holding on to the brake line, and I forgot the snipping wires. What are you using? I'm just trying to break this zip tie here. With unsuitable pliers? Yeah, with the wrong tool. Definitely the wrong tool, but there you go. Um, okay, interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. Throw that away. So, oh, wait. Yeah, the problem is this broke off. Oh, and somebody tried to. Oh, well, it's falling out. Yeah, somebody tried to <laughs> fix it because uh, we all know that the throttle cables are extremely expensive. Yeah, and the uh, easiest way to fix it is with a throttle cap. Well, of course, of course, you're an alcoholic and have a lot of those. <laughs> so we'll start here, by the throttle body. Here. Yes. I'm quite certain that the locking uh, mechanism for the throttle mm -hmm. cable is the same here and inside, but much easier here to deal with. Uh, okay. So I can see what I'm doing. We'll just use a 12 millimeter. To get this loose. How do you detach it from from the throttle one? Yes. I'm not I don't know yet. I'm trying to find out now. Oh, oh you just push it but on the side. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Do you see what I'm doing here? Yes. So it has an opening, now you don't see it, it has an opening on the side, Yeah, I see. so you, you rotate everything, Yes, and you push and, it out, and you push it out, ah. but I cannot, yeah, yeah, now, yes, see? yes, 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 and that's it, okay, it's yeah. out, no, okay, that's pretty so easy. it's routing over the rail cover, yeah, take that out, okay, And here? Here we need to take the... We have a showing example. Mm -hmm. This one just pops into place okay, on the car. The one? Okay. And this is where the old one broke. So somebody put a... Uh, this is different. This or, or this is this an is extra fix. thing. <laughs> this is a fix. Okay. So we just need to unpop it. Uh -huh. So now... That was the easy part. Yeah. Now we need to get under the under the dash. Okay. Upside down. Oh. I mean it was on the other car when I was doing stuff like this I was always upside down, but here we'll see. Okay, we're inside of a car. Now we need to do the same thing up here. That's it. Yes, and I'm thinking of removing the whole pedal out for cleaning. Whole pedal? Yeah, it, it's held in by two screws, and I think I have. I'm quite sure that those are M6, mm -hmm. and I think I have new M6 with a hex head. Mm -hmm. I'm replacing all the Phillips head screws with the hex head screws, just so. It's, you need less tools to do everything in the car, so, and I'm quite sure that something is missing here between the spring and the pedal. Mm. What? And this is quite worn out. You know what? Probably a piece of plastic that goes here, but that's broke off at some point. Let me get the Phillips head 
We'll remove this, clean it. Clean it outside of the car and reinstall it. That was easy. And greasy. Why is it greasy? Somebody tried to. Oh, somebody put some grease here. You see here? Yeah. Thinking it would help. Yeah. And <laughs> was it squeaky? Oh, yes, it's squeaky, but it's squeaky because of this part. Yeah. And not because of this part. Yeah. Because. Let's just get out, clean it yeah, yeah, yeah. nicely, yeah. clean clean the mating surfaces and reinstall it with new screws, <sighs> hopefully. I was thinking of getting the bigger pliers it myself, but I was like, nah. We have these four clips and that's it. One is broken, so that was easy enough. Now I will just pull it out. Mm -hmm. Let's clean the pedal and reassemble everything. Just the brake clean? Yeah, just the brake clean. Our bucket, our cleaning bucket is full of your oil still. So I'll just clean it like this. Somebody lobbed the cable part. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I've never seen this part of the pedal. You mean the pedal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just a lever. Yeah, I know. When we got it, you didn't even have this boot on. Oh yeah, right. Remember that? Yes. I'm quite sure there's something missing here. Can I check? And, uh, I will look at the pictures on, on the internet or the manual or the other two cards that we have. But for now we will just replace the cable. We will replace the cable and if it turns out that there's something missing... I mean it works. Oh yeah. I cannot say it doesn't work. And it works okay. It, it works okay. We've given worse cars. <laughs> I mean, our daily was worse than this. Remember that piece of crap? Yeah. I love that car. You like calibrate this shit. What? What? This is the calibration. Mm -hmm. So, you have two stops. Okay. You have a stop that is in the car still. Mm -hmm. For our full throttle yeah. that hits here, mm -hmm. and you have it for a minimum throttle that hits here. Uh -huh. So we, we are going to calibrate it, and you are going to help me with it okay. by stepping on the pedal while, while I work the uh, okay. other end. Look how nice this is now. Yeah, th this actually. It's worn so much, it has its own groove. <laughs> really? Yes. So we need to replace this part also? Nah. One day? Huh? You know what we'll do? Mm -hmm. When we get to the other two Samurais, mm -hmm. we'll see if one of them has a better, better pedal. Yeah. And we'll get a new pedal. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a plan. Of course. But for now, it's going to be the original one. Mm -hmm. If it's the original yeah, one. Yeah, that's what I want to see. It probably is, because the, if you do not change the cable after it breaks, mm -hmm. breaks you're not going to change the pedal. <laughs> yeah. Is this rust or anti-seize? <laughs> I cannot tell anymore after we, after all this. I would say rust. No, I would say anti-seize. Oh, really? 
Yeah, because there is here where it's definitely not rusty and it's coming off. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you, previous owner. I think we should just disassemble this. No. Why? It will be easier for me. It will be hard to reassemble. Yeah. No, it won't. See the grooves? Yeah. So, I, I, if I was an engineer designing this part, yeah, I would put a piece of plastic mm -hmm. so it centers the spring mm -hmm. on this shaft. Okay. And if I was the previous owner, mm -hmm. I would see that piece of plastic start to go wear and. Mm -hmm break after 20 something years okay. and then I would remove it completely mm -hmm. there's where here that's, that's quite deep do you see that no it's like Wait. Do, you, do you see that groove yeah it's like half a millimeter of groove yeah on each side so yeah, I would say this part is more than 70,000 kilometers. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. I pronounced it clean enough. Reassemble it. This thing goes here. You push this in. Then you pull this out. Then you push. I'm sorry I'm not showing you what exactly to do, but I'm quite sure you can figure this out. Where, is my, where are my pliers? This piece is going where? Inside. Now we need to get this piece mm -hmm, yeah. over here. Ah, over here. Yes. Oof. There it is. Ah, nice. That's it. Look, it's not squeaking anymore. <laughs> I wonder how is that possible when it's just cleaned and not lubricated. <laughs> Amazing. What technology advances. You see, this is the other stuff. Yes. Yeah. Now let me find some screws somewhere. See this black go? Mm -hmm. I fucking hate previous owners. I adjusted this screw mm -hmm. to be out by some amount. Okay. I will put the cap back on and we are going to screw this back in. Now we know how it works. It has a lock nut on the inside, mm -hmm. which I Replace with an actual lock nut, okay. nylock nut, or whatever you call it. 
yeah, this is M6. Okay. Washer. Washer. I know you cannot see what I'm doing, but I'm just putting a bolt in the hole. I don't think that is that exciting. But the other problem is I I do not have any tools to tighten this here. So I need to go to the workshop. value of this is like just a slight mm. so like like mm. just like that There you go. More stainless steel. Mm -hmm. Now I will fish the new, the new um, cable in for the hole, mm -hmm. and then we can hook it on this side. Mm -hmm. I just press it in okay. and now we need to pull the cable to this side, fish it through the, the hole and mess up because it needs to go on the other side from the bottom, rotate it from the bottom and without looking, okay with looking Push it through the hole. Is that it? No. Just a minute. Something got loose here. Is that it? I don't know. Is it straight? I can't see it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now let's do the other side. Okay. We're just going to put it somewhat in place. No, first, first, first. Mm -hmm. Let's first hook it in. Do you see it or do you want more light? More light. Get more light. Now let's just... First we're going to hook it. The hook like mm -hmm. that, and then we're going to do this. And now we have a small problem because the throttle advance is a little bit advancing the throttle. Do you see that movement? Yeah, so we are going to account for that now. Huh. Just by feel so. The usual way I do this is uh, I have somebody step on the throttle okay. or I put a brick on the throttle yeah. and then I adjust this mm -hmm. so it just let me demonstrate like this so it when that pedal is past 
uh, pressed fully on, mm -hmm. this is fully opened. Uh -huh. And then I called it good uh -huh. enough. Okay. So now we are going to put something on the pedal. <laughs> okay. I don't know what because I got rid of all our old lead, old lead batteries. I need a brick. Yeah, I need a brick. I don't have a brick. Or a rock. I don't think I have a rock. You know, like in that video, a music video. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. The cardigans. So we came to the realization that you don't even have interesting that you don't even have to press the pedal fully to, to fully engage the throttle. Mm -hmm. So we are going to adjust the stop inside of the car. <laughs> that never happened in history. <laughs> I don't think so. Anybody ever adjusted the stop to stop the throttle before it's hitting the end? <laughs> really? I'm quite sure. So we just tighten this a bit and we're really going to adjust the stop when we reach the fully open throttle and see if, how that feels and <laughs> readjust it if needed. So let's see what we have here. That is fully open, so I need to adjust the stop, and this is, what is this, a tenor, oh. listen to me, dear Suzuki Japanese engineers, please. If if you're not using the, the 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 standard sizes for everything, at least use the same size on similar components. Oh, this is going quite out of way now. I'm contemplating if we should want our pedal to be more like this. What? What? Like, idle should be more like here instead of here. Really? But yeah, I'm contemplating because this needs to be quite long to reach mm -hmm. the stop here. So this is now wide open throttle, mm -hmm. and now we need to put a stop here. Mm -hmm. And instead of this, I will see if I have something similar in stainless steel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it something like that. And then we're going to just adjust the idle or the top position. Whatever you want to call it. Something like that. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, it, it actually stops it now. So I need to get, get, go in more. Of course, I have a lot in the washer on this.
second field end. Now I need to back this off a bit until it hits it. Yes, that's why we have, these are actually two nuts, one is a captive on the car and the other one is on the screw. So when you adjust this, yeah. you just try to tighten the one nut against the other. Okay. And we have a locking. Now you, you are going to push the pedal and I will see if that opens the throttle okay. all the way. We actually got it. Can you push it like hmm? by hand so you can feel? By hand, I will try. Yeah, I think we're a little bit stretching the, the stretching the. stretching the throat a bit. Actually. You can go outside and look at the throttle. Okay. I will show you what to look for. Okay. See this part? Yes. It will open. Yeah. All the way. Mm -hmm. And when I open it, you need yeah. to push your finger here and see if there is any, mo any movement. Uh -huh. we'll, okay. we'll try and then you will see. First we'll try and then we'll calculate. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Movement. No, there is no movement. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell me when it, there is no movement. Now. Now? Yeah. Now it's open for it. Yeah. Here. Yes. And here? Yes. And here? Ow, 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 wait. Uh, now. Here. Yes. Now it's Yes. Okay. Oh. I did not. I do not like like how the pedal the pedal is all the way up. So we are going to adjust it a bit. Okay. 
Now let's get the inside of the car. Rubber over a nut. Okay, fuck it. Our idle is quite high. We are all the way out of adjustment. Screw all the way in. Oh, the pedal needs to be that high. Unfortunately. Because. We now know how it works. So. So after some fandangling with everything, we realized that the lights are not stable, that this needs to be all the way in, and even without the cap, mm -hmm. let's put the cap on, because, oh fuck your light. So, I was saying, we realized that our idle, this has a lot of play, that our idle screw needs to be all the way in, because we are out of adjustment, so the only thing with, that we can adjust is our full open throttle screw down here. Okay. And now you will push it in, can you push it like this by hand, don't I touch this, push it here. And I will see outside where we are. Okay, okay. Just lie on both seats. Slowly. Come on. Okay, okay. That's okay. all the way. That's all the way. Let it go just a bit until you're not hitting the screw. Okay. That's it. Yeah. All the way. Okay, let's go. How much? All the way. Okay. We are there more, more or less. We're going to try it out. Guess what I did not bring? Keys. Yep. I didn't bring the keys. Oh, 
let's try one more time. Push it, I check. Okay. And that's it. Yes. Okay. There you go. That's it. Okay. So, after all that dangling, I can show you outside what we done and that's it. Okay. The thing we did not not bother to do is to check the length side by side. Because this was broken and I didn't think anything of it. But it seems the new one is a little bit shorter. Really? Yeah, and it's a little bit thinner. It doesn't have this... What the hell? Is this... Uh, you know what that is? No. That's a straw. <laughs> Seriously, that's a straw. So... Kids, check your cable length before install. This one is a little bit shorter. Okay, but we adjusted it. We adjusted it. So at the idle, mm -hmm. it, it does not, it shouldn't be like this. It mm -hmm. shouldn't have any throttle at idle. Mm -hmm. That is important. Okay. So while the pedal is it wide open, when the pedal is without pressure, yeah. this should be just a bit loose. Yes. And when you push it in all the way, yeah. you adjust it. So this opens all the way. Mm -hmm. And you adjust it just before it hits here. Uh -huh. It doesn't have to hit here because when it hits here, yeah. this stop here, mm -hmm. then you're putting all of your leg pressure on the cable. Uh. So just like a millimeter or mm -hmm. less before that. Yeah, okay, good. So your idle is just a bit loose, mm -hmm. also less than a millimeter. Yeah. And your full open throttle is just a bit loose. Yeah, cool. And if the ca if your cable cables are not held in by corkscrews, <laughs> you can usually and and they are the same length. When you take it off, you move just one nut, mm -hmm. and then you put it side by side, put the new new nuts in the same place, mm -hmm. and that gets you in the ballpark where you need uh, to be. Okay. And then you just check it inside and outside two times and that's it okay now we just need to think what to do with this it's thinner yeah it's thinner it's a bit thinner so it moves mm. maybe just a zip tie here but that's it okay great it wasn't that hard no there was just some mocking about fucking around and stuff like that because they are a little bit different that's it Bye.